perimeter, uh, we have uh, seven villages, and we have in total like uh, six uh, hotara, six uh, traditional systems of irrigation, and uh, every each village has the, uh, its uh, story because. Uh, the, the villages are not were not created in the same period at the same period in the past for example my village animism was created on uh, after uh, 1951 and after that uh, the year the, our parents our ancestors began to create and to build the khotara of animism it's like about uh, uh, three or four kilometers uh, since the source the underground source tell the farms and also we have three hotaras in the center of emitter the hotara uh, are uh, depending how long is it depends the, the area because for example in emitter we have a system of uh, oasis life so the oasis is like uh, you find the hotara just uh, beside the river. It's the same in my village, the same thing in the other villages of Imeda. Every time you find uh, the hotara, it's beside uh, a river. Yeah, the hotara, the source of the hotara is underground, so, and the canal where the underground water uh, pass is underground, but we have some opening wells along the hotara. Uh, permitting and uh, to air to open and push water along this three or four kilometers to arrive uh, to the farms. During the winter is important for the olives. So I said that the Khotara bring us water from the mountain till the, our lands, our agriculture lands, but also the Khotara is like a patrimony heritage. So, and behind this Khotara, it's not just a question of uh, availability of water or not, but also is its creation and the system, uh, the systems behind this Khotara is too important because uh, to use the hotara by uh, the tribe, by families inside the villages, we should to to respect some rules linked to the hotara. So uh, that's why we have amgar is the boss or the boss is the the main the responsible of uh, organizing time and uh, controlling the process and the use of this uh, hotara the water in the hotara by all the families in uh, uh, just uh, to respect justice and between families uh, and peasants you know so and behind the system also there are some uh, sanctions for example if penalties if someone don't respect the rules of using the hotara so uh, the boss or amgar will uh, call it or uh, uh, tell the, the whole community about all, all these infractions so that the person uh, must uh, pay an amount of money or work for a while in managing or repairing a part of the hotara as a penalty.
Uh, water we can we have a pro an Amazigh proverb maybe it's an international proverb water is life a many man in Amazigh uh, and water is life life here doesn't mean only water to drink or water for animals and agriculture but also social stability because for us, uh, for example, for the Amazigh tribes before the implementation of the new states, there were the majority of them nomads. So then when they began to create their villages and to stabilize in different regions, they choose the places where uh, water, especially uh, water, exists. That's why we mean water is stability so a lot of people come just near the sources and water sources and began to uh, to do agriculture activities and uh, to build villages. Anonism, my village is an example. It was majority of families here are were nomads and they began uh, year after year to build their houses and. Uh, create uh, the traditional system of irrigation which is the Khotara so they began to do agriculture so for us water is the main uh, element in the local economy because uh, they use water for agriculture so the agriculture they can uh, grow vegetables and uh, fruits they eat and also they bring a part of this agriculture pro production to the local uh, markets uh, to sell it and buy the other things uh, and elements they need and in the past before the uh, installation of the mining activities and before the effects the negative effects of the mining activities they uh, the agriculture and nomadic activities were the, the base of the local economy so the peasant work people work for themselves and for themselves in their farms and they work if, whenever they want freely so uh, but nowadays the local economy was broken by those mega industries effects pollution and over exploitation of uh, natural resources and those peasants who uh, who used to work for themselves and their families became became uh, just simple workers in the far cities far from their families were uh, for a low salaries that is the big change in terms of uh, social effects of the mining activities because the mine doesn't uh, doesn't uh, try at least to create some alternatives for those locals because they bring lots of the majority of the workers in the far cities uh, and the local the locals just are the minority inside the the silver mine uh, so but also when we talk about uh, Khotara and our uh, traditional system of irrigation and the effect of the mining activities on it it's not just a question of water shortage shortage or uh, uh, or uh, 
the local economy uh, incre the increasing of the local economy but also uh, we talk here about the effects on the culture and because as you know uh, the Amazigh tribes are closely linked to plants and nature water and land and the plants they grow uh, in their traditions and their celebrations their uh, spiritualities sometimes but uh, specifically in the traditions because in every uh, family events weddings and other uh, traditions and the traditions we find that uh, plants local plants and have a, an important role inside this uh, this culture